Okay, this, love this Italian Bertazzoni stove. I love, love, love it. Um, it's gas, it's got the oven, it makes you feel like you can come home and you can cook and be real with it, and I love that. This is all, uh, this tile was hand cut, yeah, in Mexico. We don't have gobs and gobs of money. So we spent the money here because we wanted that, that sense of texture. I had my kids help me do this. It's really, really cool. I very intentionally um, created this little aquarium. It's a faux aquarium. So I'm so pleased with the way that came out. It's just a funny little touch. All right, so this is what we call not our deck, but our decklet because it's tiny, it's cool, it's shaded, and it's actually private. That's why I had it built this way, so that nobody could see it when we were laying down. The thing that surprised me the most about how I responded to moving into such a small place is not that I loved it. The thing that surprised me was that we would always have people in our house, and I loved being that person that could supply that. That was really the saddest part. When I thought about not having that kind of a property, I wouldn't have the space. That's what made me sad. I, I, couldn't, I couldn't be that person anymore. I was dead wrong. People still come. The laundry room. I don't know if you're ready for this one. All right, so that is a freezer. And I'll show you, that is the bed piece I had put up on top of it so that we can blow up a, a little mattress that fits perfectly and someone can sleep there. And then there's curtains that you pull closed, like a berth on a train. <laughs> and then this thing lifts up so you can actually get to the freezer. There you go. Did she tell you from the very beginning if it gets uh, gets really rough, I want to take my life. Did she tell you that? Bernie was a very uh, determined individual and, and, and very realistic about everything. Um, and so she asked the, the hard questions of the doctors. And um, when we found out early on that, yeah, there We've all had moments in our personal or professional lives when it becomes difficult to stay motivated. Erica Diamond is with us to share how to stay inspired. She's a life coach and the founder and editor-in-chief of the highly successful blog, Women on the Fence. 